So, so part of the reason that Surge is aligned, you know, is aligned with Working Families Party is because we have a shared assessment that we need to build a, a multiracial working class populist movement. And, you know, Surge's work, uh, especially since 2016, has really been focused on taking responsibility for organizing in majority white communities um, as our contribution to that multiracial movement. And in particular, you know, poor and working class, in poor and working class communities. And so we know that we share that assessment. And Maurice, I'm wondering if you can talk a little bit about why it's critically strategically important to win over, we don't have to win all the white folks, but we do have to win over some percentage of, of white folks and why organizing poor and working class white folks is a strategic move for our broader movement um, in order to really win and transform and capture government. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, our aspiration isn't meager, right? We have, we we need to win. Like our people, black folks, working class folks, immigrants, we, we actually need to win. And so it's very important that we have a proper assessment and then based on that proper assessment, proper strategy. Right? So this question around poor and working class white folks, if we could do the long-term work, the long-term political education and leadership development and the rigorous work to be in deep, compassionate relationships with 15% of working class and poor white folks, we could break the back of the far right movement. And we could render the Republican Party no longer an effective national vehicle. Um, if we could align those, those white folks in a self-aware working, working class multiracial alignment, there's really, the sky's the limit around what we could do. And, you know, there's, a lot of white liberals or self-identified liberals and progressives um, who, you know, vote with us, many of them are concentrated in metropolitan co coastal communities. Right? Now, the challenge there with organizing white working class folks who are concentrated in metropolitan coastal communities is that if we only focus on those white people, we're basically giving up on winning the Senate. And we have to flip the Senate if we want any chance of for example, um, actually achieving Medicare for all, or for example, actually reordering our economy in fundamental ways. There's just no other way around it because of the, you know, anti-democratic nature of the Senate and the fact that the Senate leans towards uh, whiter, more conservative communities. Right. So just like just looking at the numbers, it's a must. Now, the reason why the working class and and um, and uh, poor nature of of that constituency is, is essential. It's like, I'll give an example. So you could take your, your run of the mill progressive white person that might live, you know, on the, on the upper West side and send their child to a public school, right? The minute you try to, to integrate that public school, you'll see how quickly that that white liberal individual will swing from the politics of Che Guevara to the politics of Steve, Steve Bannon. Okay. So what, when we talk about racial justice, we're talking about sharing power, giving up power. We're talking about shifting social relations. White working class and poor people have the most material benefit if, if black and brown and other folks win. And so for the long term, to build a long term coalition, long term money is on white, poor and working class folks. And it both will take a long-term concerted effort because in order for white foreign working class folks to see their destinies linked with people of color, it means that we have to go back to the basics and do deep concerted political education, knock on doors, engage in conversations, and do the work that the Democratic Party and the American left has basically given up on for, for 40, 40 uh, years, for four, for four decades, to engage with those voters and not look at them with disdain because of, of class differences. You know, I often say that the people who who have the most animus against poor and working class white folks are the white people, not people of color, right? And so it requires a a, a political education and a decolonizing of of the of the of the minds of of many white um, middle class folks who want to get in the fight. the The fight is not you know simply opining about these issues. The fight is in doing the organizing. And the role for any left is not simply to consolidate the left or to, or to, or to you know, engage in sort of the navel gazing and which often leads to proclaiming how, how corrupt you are or proclaiming um, sort of how left you are. 
The role of any left is to organize the working.